Welcome back to Cinch University. I am your host, Rick Porter, and today we're talking about preparing for your next new hire. Most common question we get is, how do I know when I should be hiring my next employee? <clears throat> the answer is, there's never a perfect time. If you're waiting for a perfect time, it's going to be much like trying to decide when you're going to have kids or when you're going to buy your first house. And you're going to end up with no kids and you'll be a renter forever if you're waiting for that perfect time. So when do you hire? Here are my top three tips. Tip number one, make sure you can afford that employee. You should save up six months of that individual salary and have that in savings prior to you hiring that person. That will ensure that you can afford them while they're going through the training process and the ramp up process. Tip number two, remember that in the MSP industry, it takes about 90 days to onboard a new employee. If they're technical, they're going to be going through their technical trainings and certifications, customer service skills prior to ever being effective and managing and working with your clients on a regular basis. Same thing on the sales side. There's a lot of technical sales knowledge that they might need to know, a lot of procedures and policies that they're going to need to know and understand prior to sitting in front of one of your customers. So know that when you're going to hire your first employee, you need to be very good at forecasting. Forecasting what your business looks like 90 days out. If you're getting close to closing one or two big deals and you think you're going to need another technician, you might want to bring them on earlier in anticipation of that next new client because you know it's going to take 90 days to get them up and running. Tip number three, know the industry averages. In our industry, a technician is typically hired every 120 to 250 users. In other words, a technician can handle 120 to 250 users or computers or end users. Okay. With that in mind, that's a really good tool for you to be able to have a metric that tells you when you should be hiring your next employee. Now keep in mind, 250 is the max. At $250, you may be very profitable, but that technician is probably very stressed out um, and may not be giving the best customer service. If you're looking to give the best customer service possible, focus on 120 users. That'll give them time and flexibility to be able to service your customers perfectly. Now, when you hire a salesperson, the industry average in our, in our business is one to two million dollars in revenue. That's a big range, okay? And that really is based on the individual. If you're a highly organized individual, you can handle a $2 million book of business. You can still get out the quotes on in a timely fashion. You can still do QBRs and you can still give the customers all of the service that they need. And you can do that in a timely, efficient and effective manner. If you're not that organized of an individual, you're going to have a harder time. And so your book might cap out at a million dollars. So understand your staff, understand their strengths and their weaknesses. But the average account manager can manage about one to $2 million book of business. So those are my top three tips on knowing when to hire your first employee. We'll see you guys in the next training video.